Well, I'm dead. What's going on, everybody? Slightly Sick here, back with episode four. Now, in today's episode, our goal is going to be to get that cool liner, uh, or whatever it's called, that helps us regulate temperature more because that has been something that has been interfering with our gameplay for well since the beginning of our gameplay um and we we need to get that out of the way now i was sitting here in my puddle as you can see i've got the game pause and that's for a reason but i was sitting here in my puddle cooling down uh and an event began it's called arachnophobia and there's a dude talking so i figured this would be a good time to start the episode so let's get right into it ha <laughs> ha Eight-legged terrors is what he said. Uh, hopefully this isn't anything like the Blood Moon where they can spawn, like, anywhere. Alright, well we got rocks down there. Gin's all around, for huge. I don't think I'm seeing... Huh, that's just... Excuse me? Okay. So, arachnophobia. Also, snowballs. Arachnophobia is no longer spawning mobs. What? It literally just started. What's going on here? Are they down there? Let's go find out. Let's go find out what's going on. Gins are so annoying. You're a son of a gun. Guys, outside. Oh, thank you. Oh shoot, that's a, those aren't all good, are they? Oh, they are. Wait, did they? When did they spawn? That's so bizarre. All right, arachnophobia though. I see a couple spiders. What? From where? <laughs> I can never do anything. This was supposed to be like a peaceful episode. <sighs> Swear to freaking gosh. Swear to gosh. There it is. I'm going hard, guys. <laughs> oh, God. So it make me cry. <laughs> Oh, I need water. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh. Wait. Thought that was ours. So one thing I wanted to take a look at, guys. Actually, there's two things I wanted to show you here. Um, first off, the antique atlas that we have here. We got this from uh, the dungeon we explored. I didn't know what it did. This is actually how we're going to navigate because you don't have coordinates in our craft. So this will tell you, you know, how to get around. Um, also. This XP tome, we have two of these. It says sneak right click to store as much XP as possible 
but we can also retrieve it all. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. So that's kind of nice. Um, that might actually allow us to get our defense. Wow, up to 16. Now we can wear diamond armor. Um, sweet. Do we have enough skill points for anything? We need a lot more with that. All right, so that's done. You know, we need to kill this thing. gonna do now we're gonna make our way to an ice biome of some sort and we're gonna collect some ice and if we happen to find any of the dungeons that have the Cyclops on top the battle towers we're gonna kill them and check those chests because oftentimes those have the the liners that are like the best in the game that you put on a piece of armor and it regulates your heat and your cooling. But that is what is on the agenda now. Before we head out, uh, I am just gonna go ahead and drink this morphine, because that'll give us no more no more of this uh, this heat issue for you know at least three minutes and thirty seconds. Uh, what else do we need to do before we go? We need food, which we cooked in here. Alright, we got our food, and we're going to take some... Actually, we don't really need bandages. We'll pick them up on the way. So let's... Oh my gosh. Let's head out. There's the dragon. Let's not go that way. We have our little marker here. So hopefully, that will keep us on track with where we are. <sighs> All right. Okay, so. Let's see, what is over here? I am fairly certain this guy can like jump really high, but I also want to kill him because Can you jump this high? Hopefully not. These idiots, I swear. I don't have a bow. If I had a bow... Alright, we're not messing with that. I don't know why they stayed up there. That's a waste. That was a waste. On our journey, we encountered a battle tower, and we sent our minions down to knock the Cyclops off. And after we'd finished that, we looted it. And then, we had a very near-death experience. Well, I'm dead. We somehow managed to survive and went on to discover the largest village I have ever encountered in Minecraft. This thing was massive, and I made sure to mark it on our atlas for a future episode where we will explore the entire thing. Right before we found what we were looking for, we encountered a village armory where we found an entire set of diamond armor. And that leads us right into it's another battle tower. <laughs> um. <sighs> Dang. 
Guys, I spawned a purple one. That's insane. Whoa. He's not going to attack me, is he? Alright, before the battle tower destroys everything, let's go ahead and collect everything. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Oh my gosh. I don't care about this. What is below me? So, we can head down here and hopefully destroy these without getting shot at. One down, two down. Golden apple, pretty good. More boots. I feel like the manuscript's valuable. Apples, get out of here. Loppies. We don't need loppies. What am I doing? We're going to try it one more. Did it. Excellent. It has what we need. Nope. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me though. Honestly. Honestly. I swear to God, if you just destroyed that liner. By blowing that up, I will be so freaking mad. Uh, what can we get rid of? That. Okay, one down. What do we not need? We don't really need the buckets. Shielding. And I just threw off the freaking thing. Stupid design. Swear to God, get out of here. Rust and one up. kidding me oh my god all right well hold on we're gonna eat our hot stuff and we're gonna go collect our stuff there it is Okay guys, we were able to make it back in time to collect most of our stuff. It looks like some of it did disappear. I'm hoping we can real quick sneak down here. Grab the liner, got it, boom. Grab some of this iron while we're here. And head on out. And with that, we are actually going to try and head back home. I do not want to lose this anymore. So, if we go straight this way, we should make it home.
And this is a massive structure. Holy cow. Damn, there's a giant worm inside. Okay. Interesting. How close are we? We're getting pretty close. This is mine. This is my house! Woohoo! Okay. First thing we're gonna do, sleep that off. We're home sweet home. We got a lot of stuff, including the Aussie chest plate. So, let's see, combine with the chest plate on a crafting grid to add a self-adjusting temperature lining. Single install, you only need one Aussie liner per armor set. Oh, so that basically will take care of everything. Let's put a blacksmith table right there, an anvil I mean. Let's grab a chest plate. What is this? Protection for you. Yeah, we don't care about that. Do this. Is it just like this? Wow. So if I put that on, what does that do? Can I, can I overheat? I can't, it's going down. We did it. <laughs> All right guys, real quick, we're gonna add a little addition to our house. We did what we needed to do this episode, but I want to add sort of a landing area around the circumference of this dome. So that's what we're gonna do. 